with Jane. That is blasphemy. I shall do that not. So Johnny took the Jane and he poured it down his throat. Go, 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 Drunk and sot, and he rubbed his wife's left leg with a bottle, singing, I will believe, and I will believe. Oh, Johnny Booger was a gay old booger, and a gay old booger was he. Now, old Johnny Booger went a-walking one day, and down by the river he happened to stray. Johnny fell in. And he started to shout, I am drowning, I am drowning. <laughs> but there was no booger there for to pull the booger out. Sing it, I will believe, and I will believe. Old Johnny Booger was a gay old booger, and a gay old booger was he. So in came the queen, and the rest of her court. And they all laughed aloud to see such a sport. Is drowning. So Raleigh reached in and pulled up Johnny, and they all joined the chorus with a hey, Nolly, Nolly. Sing it, I do believe, and I will believe. Old Nanny Mother was a gay old mother, and a gay old mother was he. Moral, moral of the story. God made the bees, and the bees made honey. Come 
you. I, I thought that that was the statue of Hiroshima. I was under a sign which did say, without you. Without worry, you're better than. And what is this sign here upon the top say? on it. 
to contemplate the three riddles. Let us contemplate these three riddles. And so the narrator contemplated, and the audience contemplated. The sign contemplated. I sign you. Oh, these riddles are most difficult. Oh, that's true. I do fear we shall never have the answer in of a uh, master bonnet. They are too hardly for me. So how many shovels would it take to empty the house? No, you're the answer to this, goodly wife. Oh, wait a bit, cousin. No, you the answer, Behima. How many shovels go to empty the ocean? You can guess. Big. Uh, uh, that, that goodly, uh, Mr. Sirapon. Oh. And what does her other half say? Two thousand. Oh, two thousand and. Thinking upon the morrow. 
has to answer the third and final riddle. Come thee hither, man. Quickly, quickly. What say you? Listen now. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Oh, and so leaving the narrator out uh -huh. of it, so Bonnet whispered at the plan to stop uh -huh. and they exited. Time is only. And so they made their way unto the Queen's palace, where the sheriff was making plans. Oh, don't. Oh, well, I shall be the sheriff for the meanwhile. Where the sheriff and her majesty <laughs> were getting ready to impart upon, upon, well, while we're waiting for this, uh, the sheriff shall perform a little dance. <laughs> oh, must I? Yeah. Of course, I'm the narrator. <laughs> and, and then the chef began banging his face with the floor. Ah. It's joy as being narrated. <laughs> well, there's no song. Very well. And the chef being slightly repetitive. The Queen, how much sleep? Very well. I am here to uh, uh, call for Sir Bonnet and uh, his uh, manservant who hear the answering of the question. Her Majesty, the royal ruling regent of the realm, would have Sir Bonnet to appear. Please step over your impertinent servant here upon, uh, and come you approach the throne. Uh, uh, I am Very sorry, well. Master. I'll stand you upon the impertinent servant then. Uh, 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 Very well. <laughs> uh, Very well, master. Sheriff. You may proclaim the first question to be answered. The first question is, how many shovels full would it take to empty the entire ocean? Very well, Sir Bonnet. The answer. Oh, goodly gentles, I do remember the answer not now, quite. So you the have... audience did cry it out in the age of stumpy body, knew not the answer. One hit oh, oh, I, I do remember now. Uh, your Majesty, yes. know you, Edward, be only merely one bigly, gigantically shovel, if it were bigly, gigantically, uh, and horrifically enough. Oh. oh, well, cleverly spake, was it God's not? God's breath! Well, uh, Sheriff, I believe the first riddle is answered. Sir Bonnet, now the Sheriff will bespeak the second riddle. Uh, I, uh, you're a uh, master of sheriffry. Thou shalt find the second riddle much more difficult than the first. Oh. Well, how might one see all the continents of the globe in a single day? And again, don't be forgotten, the audience cry it out then. I don't remember it now. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, uh, if one were to ride upon the sun, they might see all the goodly continents of the globe, and one day's time for know you, the sun doth encircle the, uh, the globe uh, in one day's time. Is it not true, Phoebus's car, if one who ride upon? Very well, Anthony. Well, Sheriff, I believe uh, Sir Bonnet here is quite clever and shall all three questions answer. We shall see. Now, Sir Bonnet, the third, final, and most difficult riddle of all. Hi. What is Her Majesty, the most glorious, radiant Gloriana Elizabeth Tudor Regina, thinking? on this day. Oh, well, approach you, Sir Bonnet. Oh, I am most of fear. And of course, since uh, Sir Bonnet let not the audience nor the narrator in on this little secret, they could not help stopping. He just sat there, uh, shivering and shaking in the presence of the Queen. Very well, Sir Bonnet, come you hither. Uh, we shall, or for this sake, I shall uh, concentrate my thoughts upon one certain item or other, or perhaps one thought. And you must uh, be speaking what I am thinking. Very well. Your Majesty, oh. I can answer this riddle. Oh, what if you did this here? What mean you by your servant, Sir Bonnet? Uh, he is a most uh, impertinent servant, but I do... Uh, I do believe he might have the answer in of this question. Your servant, man, is for the answering of this? Aye, Your Very Majesty. Very well. 
by your majesty's gracious leave. I know exactly what you are thinking at this very moment. Well, pray you do tell, for I am confounded as to tell what I am thinking at this moment. You are thinking that this is Sir Bonnet, and that I am merely his serving man. But know you that I am Sir Bonnet, and this is my serving man. Oh, was I not just addressing that flopping man as Sir Bonnet? Oh, I cleverly answered it. Oh, accolades, awful accolades, accolades, accolades. Good, great, good, great. Oh, good. And so the sheriff lost the wager. I have lost the wager. Yay. And I have won the wager. Yay. And Stumpy as the governor of Mount Hope in Dyke State. Oh, no. Oh, might I wear the boots? But, but the boots were especially made for Martin. Oh, very well, rip the boots off this man. Oh, Majesty, oh, Majesty, I beg of you. I beg of you.